Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we have a really cool product today that we're gonna install and it's uh, this uh, rim case by Magback. And um, it's, it's such a cool product because if you remember about maybe a week after I um, had my Model Y, I already hit a curb, had some curb rash and it looked freaking awful and it was depressing. It was. Um, probably right along this area here, not this particular wheel, but um, one of my rear wheels. And, um, and it, was, it was brutal just because I had it for after um, just one week. And I've had this Model Y now for about a year, so I've been really careful um, around those curbs. So, you know, this, this particular wheel looks, looks really nice. And, um, but this product, like I said, by Magback is super cool because it is a really unique design and um, I'm excited about it. It's a pretty nice interlocking design, comes with several different pieces here that, um, that basically just go around the uh, perimeter of your wheel, you know, right along here. And it has this really nice interlocking design that we'll see as, as we install it. But it also comes with several other items. Um, basically this protective film that you apply to the wheel before you put the interlocking pieces in. But before we even do that, um, you wanna make sure that your wheel is completely clean. Um, remove all the uh, dirt and grime and grease that's you know, on, on the wheel. Um, and you can you simply just, just wash it off and uh, maybe use a degreaser. But what we're gonna do first bef before we install the protective film is use these provided alcohol wipes um, just to get the, the wheel as clean as possible. So let's go ahead and get started and start off by cleaning. Okay, now that uh, we've uh, done the alcohol wipe, on the wheel, let it sit for a while to make sure that it's all dry. Now we're going to go ahead and attach the um, provided protective film that the kit came with. So some of these and this particular one is the arc film. So we're going to apply this first and these, these, this film right here goes along this area here. And then after that, we're going to attach the body film and the valve film. So the body film will go in between the spokes here and then the valve film will go around um, the, the air valve right here. So when you apply the arc film, you wanna make sure that these little tabs that you see up here um, are sticking up a little bit because we're gonna eventually um, fold them back as you can see here. You're just gonna push them back and let them adhere to the wheel. It's like that and we'll just keep moving on. Okay, we have all the uh, pieces of the arc film installed and so now we're going to finish off the film with adding the um, body film and then the valve film. So let's do that real quick. Just like the arc film has these little tabs that we're going to push back. Now as soon as we put on the pieces you shouldn't actually be able to see the film so I wouldn't worry about it too much of uh, being applied you know completely perfectly here because they will be covered up it's uh really just here to protect your wheel up against the interlocking pieces okay we finally have the uh, protective film pieces all in place and so now we're going to go ahead and, and um, install these 
interlocking pieces. And again, these are the 21 inch Uber Turbin wheels. So it is recommended that we go set the first piece and then continue on counterclockwise. So on the back side here is some 3M ad adhesive tape. So you wanna peel this off before you uh, attach it onto the wheel. And then as you can see on the back side here, there's these um, little interlocking clips. So this will be set inside here. So we're gonna insert this in here and then pull up and it should snap into place up top. So you wanna do is once it's engaged down below, push up and then push in with your thumb so it interlocks just like that. And you'll hear it snap into place. All right, with the next piece, we're gonna work counterclockwise. So again, attach from the bottom first and then push with your thumb. Just like that. And it does take a little bit of force to, to push with your thumb. So just keep that in mind. As you can see here, man, that is pretty clean. I just installed two pieces in that. It attaches quite nicely. And even now you could barely tell that there's a, uh, you know, modular piece here. It actually looks pretty good. And I've only have two pieces on. Okay, so now we're to the part of the wheel where it has a valve stem. So make sure you grab that modular piece um, that has the opening for the valve stem. All right, just like that, we're gonna go ahead and continue on and finish up and see what it looks like as we get to this last piece here, because I believe we're gonna have to use the little pry tool um, to help us attach that piece. Okay, so now we're at the last piece here of um, this modular segment. So again, in order to get this piece right here underneath the first piece that we put in, I believe we're gonna have to use the pry tool. So let's try to attach this real quick. Yeah, as you can see, it's, it's sitting on top of the first piece we put in. So that, I believe that's why we have to use this uh, pry tool here. Just like that, and actually it's all done. So that was actually pretty easy and it looks honestly really good. I mean, you can't, you can barely tell that it's really there. I mean, I'm stepping back maybe five feet and it blends in really well. So pretty happy with that. Um, again, it's pretty easy to install. I mean, honestly, the thing that took the longest was the protective film that we had to put on there. It actually looks really good, man. I'm pretty, Pretty happy with that. I was uh, a little skeptical at first, but um, this, this looks pretty good. Now, of course, the rim case is supposed to protect your wheel against curb rash, so, um, but the nice thing about that is if you do need to replace them, they're pretty easy. And really, since they're, they're modular pieces, you can basically just replace pieces as, as needed or ones that are, are damaged, and it's really, quite easy to remove um, with the supplied um, pry tool here. And you just basically stick it in towards the back here and just pry back. And it, um, it, it disengages from the wheel quite easily, just like that. So to be able to remove, you know, segments at a time is actually 
quite easy. And you can buy individual um, boxes just for one wheel. So you'll have however many pieces this comes with. So um, you really only need to buy one. And you could replace, you know, several of these on, on several different wheels. So, and just to put it back should be just as easy as we did earlier. So just simply snap that back in, snap that back in, and that's it. Well, that's it, guys. I mean, that looks really good. So just to get a, try to get a profile view of what that looks like. As you can see, it does stick out, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch from the tire. So that definitely will help protect your your wheel and um it looks pretty good it, it really does and if we could take a quicker quick look at um what it looks like without the rim case by mag bag so it um it's it looks pretty good so again it's supposed to withstand some impact against the curb and then obviously easy to, to replace each segment. So really happy with that. What do you guys think? I don't know guys, we're about, I don't know, 10, 15 feet away. And let me know if you guys can tell that it's on there. I could, I mean, I could tell because I'm staring right at it, but really from a quick glance, you can't tell it's there. So I'll leave a link down in the description below to, for you guys to check this out for yourself. And, um, Obviously, make sure you use the uh, code that we have for you to make sure you get a discount on some of these. And retail price for each wheel is about $79. And then if you were to buy the fifth wheel, basically to have replacement parts, it's uh, the add-on is actually only $39. So make sure you check that out. Again, I'll leave a link down in the description below, but be sure to use that coupon code if you guys found this helpful, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more. All right, catch you guys in the next one. See ya.